Hey guys, it's PBK and you're watching the HTC Ultra Disassembly video. Alright, first thing you're going to do is remove the SIM tray from the phone. Once you got that out of the way, next you're going to have to pry the back off the phone. You're going to have to apply some heat, either use a blow dryer or a heat gun. And you're going to need a pry tool to separate the back piece from the mid frame. And then try to work your pry tool in between the back piece and mid frame and just be careful not to damage or break it. And once you get it in, it's just held on with adhesive so you work your way around gently. Alright, once you've got the back plate off, you have 16 T5 screws you're going to have to remove from the back. Some are colored black and some are colored in silver. Alright, once you unscrew the T5 screws, you're going to remove these back plastic pieces, which also have the antennas on them for either the Wi-Fi or the cell. Remember the bottom one. And then this corner one over here is attached to the board with the cable. So disconnect it. And then remove that as well. And this is your speaker. Now you're left with the main board and the battery. You also got your charging board on the bottom. Okay, there are two Phillips screws on the battery connector. Go ahead and unscrew those. And then disconnect the battery ca cable. Once you got that disconnected, there's a white and a black cable over here. Disconnect those. And you also have a flex cable over here underneath the camera. Pop that up. Now on the bottom you have a pink and a blue. And also a white and a black cable. Pop those four up off the board. Once you cut those off, there's a tape over here. You're gonna have to pry that tape off. Once you pull that back, there's a cable over here attached to the main board. Pop that up as well. All right, now there are two Phillips screws on the main board holding it down. Unscrew those two screws. Once you got those two screws out, go ahead and lift up your main board gently. But don't pull it off because there's another cable underneath it. So get your cables out of the way. Just lift it up like this and fold it back over. There's a cable underneath over here. Pop that off. And you're left with your main board. Here's your LCD assembly. Your battery. Your earpiece. You can move your earpiece off. It was off. And you have your charger port down here with your vibrator and now there's five Phillips screws on each side which equals a total of ten on the mid frame go ahead and remove those alright once you got all ten Phillips screws removed from the sides of the phone on the mid frame you're gonna 
pull this cable on the bottom over here up and just lift it away from the mid frame like so we have two more cables down here on the charging port board pop those off once you got that you're gonna have to lift up your vibrator off the mid frame it's along with some adhesive so stick a, a pry tool underneath it I like to use a flathead screwdriver just go underneath it and lift it up and you can remove this you can now remove the mid frame from the LCD assembly comes up like that so the cool thing about this would be you'd be able to possibly paint it different color if you'd like for people who like to customize their phones or easily replace it if you have any scratches or damage to the mid frame and you're left with only the LCD assembly now and the battery so honestly I'd have to say HTC has really improved on their build process on these phones these are now much more easily replaceable and repairable you don't have to spend an hour taking the phone apart so I'm really impressed honestly so that's a really good thing about this phone because all prior HTC phones that I ever worked on it was just a real big headache to take it apart and had cables all over the place so I give it a thumbs up on this one alright now we're gonna go ahead and replace and reassemble the phone okay so first we're gonna put the mid frame back on pop it in place and we're gonna go ahead and screw the Phillips screws back on five on each side and these are going on the edges of the mid frame alright once you got all ten Phillips screws on the sides of the phone screwed back in you're gonna put the charger port assembly back vibrator back in its socket and connect these bottom two cables again all right now you're gonna get your main board you're gonna connect this bottom cable to the back of the board on the bottom Once that's connected, sit your board back into the frame. Just make sure these cables don't get stuck underneath it. Now once that's in, put your earpiece back. Now you're going to go ahead and put the two Phillips screws that hold the main board back in place. Alright, now go ahead and connect this bottom cable back to the bottom of the main board and then put that tape back over now you can put the pink, blue, white and black cables back on the board and once you got them connected over here connect the white and blue cable on top as well to the main board and then 
reattach this flex cable underneath the camera back on the main board now attach the battery cable back just pop it back on and then put the two Phillips screws back in Now you're going to put the speaker back in this place. I'm going to connect it back to the board on the bottom over here. Okay, right here. Now put the bottom plastic back on. Screw it in. Now put the top plastic back in its place and screw those T5 screws back in as well. Alright, so once you got all the T5 screws back in place, you go ahead and put the back plate back on. And most of you are definitely going to need um, some new adhesive tape underneath it. Just press it down. And you're done. So now you can go ahead and power on the phone. And you're ready to go.